Now, despite the cancellation of Seat at Home Order by the Major and Publicity Secretary for IPOB, Ima Powerful, virtually all the Southeast region observed total lockdown. Onicha River Niger Bridge was empty as no vehicular and human movement was seen there. All the markets in Anambra State were shut down and shops at streets in the 190 and 79 communities were closed. Mary Ann Ocon reports. It's 24 hours to D-Day Election Day in Anambra State and we are live in Oka the state capital normally a day two elections you would see people crowd market areas and supermarkets public spaces in a final bid to get to stock up their kitchens their pantries and their homes as against the election weekend but that is not the case today in Oka as many are still afraid to come out of their homes for fear of the unknown all hands are on deck to make sure that tomorrow becomes a reality and preparations are being made to forestall every form of violence and issues that may negate a peaceful, free, fair and credible elections. Enough of threats and uh, listen, have drawn into people's ears and minds, so they are afraid. That's all. They are afraid to come out. We're just praying that this will not uh, happen tomorrow. But um, I still have my fears. That not, many, not many people can come out. We have before now the tension, a number as far as governorship election, a number of states concerned. I think our people here were ready to go for the election. And I'm also very happy, particularly as a social commentator, but IPOB, which is a very big question here, has denounced the one week sit down or sit at home. And our people who are very happy. And I'm, I really want to appreciate the umpire over there for listening to the voice of the people, for taking the people into cognizance, for feeling the way the people are feeling. And we are ready to go for the election. The situation of things that we are already seeing because they said today also is a sit at home. You understand me? And the couple with the public, and public holiday state government put for upcoming election tomorrow. So that is why everywhere is like this. If God keep us alive tomorrow and we all, what we want tomorrow in this country is peace. We don't want anarchy, we don't want fight, we don't want katakata. As far as there is a security, you can see them passing. Eh? So that we can change government. You understand? If we don't do that, then can do anything to take over an umbra. So we have to come and vote. The hopes of government governorship candidate and the election observers is that with the IPOP statement on relaxing the sit-at-home order, this will boost voters' confidence and allow for free, fair and credible elections. Mary Anna Cohn for PLOS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.